the breakthrough idea, actually, with Shazam was not, hey, wouldn't it be great if you could identify a song with a mobile phone? Yeah. That was not the breakthrough idea. Because actually, there were about six companies doing that. Basically, what they were all doing is doing the traditional thing that one would do when you start a business, which is just, okay, here's a business I want to start. How do I go about it? And so the, the logical thing, working with existing technologies and building something, was to monitor radio play. And so that's what they were all doing. They were monitoring the radio stations. And then with these services, you'd say, I'm listening to this radio station, you know, 105.3. Right. And then you'd enter that on your phone. Um, and then they would tell you, okay, here's a song that's playing at this moment on the radio. Because that was technically feasible. We yeah. know what songs are playing on the radio. Yeah. It's not a hard problem to figure that out. Yeah. So the breakthrough of Shazam was that I was thinking about that business because it was early days and no one had really taken off yet. And I thought, um, wouldn't it be great to come up with something like that? But w I was taking a class at London Business School called Strategic Innovation, taught by Costas Marquitas. Mm -hmm. And it was really encouraging you to think outside the box about everything, yes. question everything. Yes. And, I, and I was thinking about, if I created a business where I could track what's going on in all these radio stations and it would be similar to these other startups, what could someone do that would leapfrog me, that would just leave me behind in the dust? Yes. That's the strategic innovation. So you thought in terms of your competitor if you were yeah. in that business. Exactly. What yeah. would just, I invest all these years building this business, what would just leave me in the dust and just make me irrelevant? And then that was, that was the breakthrough. Because then I thought, what if you could just identify the song like from the air, not from the radio stations, literally in the air. And then you wouldn't have to enter the radio station. And not only that, but it wouldn't just work for radio play. You'd use it in cafes, bars, clubs, movie theaters, yeah. you know, everywhere you go, right? Shopping malls, Ubiquitous. anywhere you hear a song. Because it's not just radio out there. Yeah. 